Hi guys, welcome to Azure AD Tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at the topics, which we will be discussing in our upcoming videos. Nowadays, most of the applications are being secured by OpenID Connect, OAuth and SAML protocols, so being a developer, it would be nice to have knowledge on identity providers like Azure AD, Okta, OneLogin and so on. Most of the identity providers has the same kind of functionality. If you learn about one identity provider, you can easily deal with others. In this series of videos, we will be exploring more on Azure AD and implementing authentication for web applications and APIs. The first topic we are going to discuss is basics of Azure Active Directory. Here our intention is to make you guys are familiar with basics of Azure AD and OAuth flows, and then we will discuss advanced options of Azure AD and when to use which flow in OAuth, we'll see each OAuth flow with the real-time scenario. I hope you guys got it. Let us discuss the topics now. We'll explore all available options in AD, like users, groups, users and groups association, applications, external application, applications and users association, custom domain configuration, and so on. While discussing applications, we will also look into various OAuth flows, and then we will be discussing Azure AD B2B. This is useful when you want to enable login to your application for other Active Directory users or other external users like Google, Facebook, Microsoft user accounts. And then, we will be discussing about Azure AD B2C. We will be discussing about AD Connect. AD Connect is used to connect on-premises AD with Azure AD. It will sync users and groups and other objects from on-premises AD to Azure AD. To enable login for on-premises users, we have a concept called Active Directory Federation Services. In simple, we can call it as ADFS. And to enable login for AD Connect Sync users, we have a concept called Azure Active Directory Federation Services. We will explore all these options in our upcoming videos. And we will discuss managed users and guest users in Azure AD. Guest users come under Azure AD B2B concept. We will discuss about Azure Groups and importance of groups in AD. And role of applications and enterprise applications. We will implement authentication using OpenID Connect, OAuth, SAML, WS Federation. We will see how to configure SSO and how it works. As discussed earlier, we will see how to assign users and groups to applications. And then we will look into various flows in OAuth, like implicit, authorization code, client credentials, and resource owner password flow. There are other flows as well, but in general, these are mostly used. We will explore more on Microsoft Graph API and importance of it and Microsoft Authentication Library that is MSAL. We will create a brand new .NET Core Web API and configure JWT authentication using Azure AD as an identity provider. We will look into federation authentication concept. This is useful when we want to allow other organization users to log in into our application. For example, your organization accounts are in Azure AD and other organization accounts are in Okta, so when we enable federation between Azure AD and Okta, login flow works something like this. When users try to browse login page, request redirects to Azure AD, and then Azure AD redirects to Okta, and finally Okta login page will be visible to the end users. This example we'll see with real-time example. We will also look into Auth O identity provider. That's all from this video. Hope you guys join me on this journey. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and support the channel for better educational tutorials.